Hola, uh, my name is Sang Ho Seo from Korea University. Uh, I'll be presenting Lens NMF, uh, Boosted Local Topic Discovery via Ensemble of Non-Negative Matrix Microdish. And this is a joint work with Jae Chu from Korea University, uh, Jun Sung Lee from Google Research, and Chan Myung Kee Reddy uh, from Virginia Tech. Okay, let's start with the motivation for our work. Um, so our algorithm uh, proposes a, an, uh, our work uh, proposes an algorithm for topic modeling. And in topic modeling, what's important is to extract uh, high quality topics uh, that summarize a large volume of text. And um, <clears throat> so to this end, uh, existing topic modeling algorithms uh, usually take a global topic discovery approach uh, because uh, representing, uh, having topics that represent the overall theme of the document set is important. So uh, this approach is uh, theoretically uh, reasonable, but in practice, uh, if you see, um, this does not um, necessarily produce satisfactory results all the time. Um, let's uh, take a look at this in one example. Um, now we have a, a cute a cat, and this document is about cat. So since the uh, primary subject is cat, the word cat uh, would appear frequently, and uh, obviously the, the, the topic of cat would be selected uh, with related keywords such as cute. But um, we see that, um, on the other hand, you know, we might have this mention of Egyptian cat, which only appears only once, but this um, may talk about how Egyptian cat is unique and special in, compar in comparison to other uh, cats uh, in certain ways. And this might actually be more interesting than having you know, a cat and cute, which is just uh, general uh, information that does not really provide any additional information. So um, to look at just uh, one uh, real and as well as a more relatable example, uh, these are sampled topics from data mining papers containing keywords, uh, dimension or reduction. And as you can see, the dominant keywords uh, are dimension redu reduction, multi-dimension, and high dimension, uh, which does not really provide any additional information, but just repeats uh, what we're looking for. So uh, this um, shows how a global topic you know, discovery approach does not really yield uh, a satisfactory result. So the problem is that uh, existing topic mod modeling algorithms provide users with global topics that give general uh, redundant information. So we propose local topic discovery to extract uh, more specific uh, informative topics. So the intuition for our method is as follows. Uh, uh, using the previous example of the document about CAT, uh, what we want is to reverse this order and have a local topic or keyword ranked at the top and have a redundant uh, general uh, keyword uh, ranked at the bottom. And a uh, higher level understanding of this process uh, enables us to uh, reason that for a local topic discovery, uh, we need to iterate. And for each iter at each iteration, uh, we need to boost up the local keyword or topic and suppress uh, global or uh, top, global topic or keyword. So for iterating, uh, we apply ensemble technique, and for boosting and suppressing, uh, we apply a novel uh, local weighting scheme. And combining these two, uh, we have localized ensemble of non-negative matrix factorization, uh, which we call lens of the So now that we've looked at the intuition, um, let's look at the details of the <coughs> approach. So this is the overview of lens NMF. Uh, it may consist of one or multiple stages. And at each stage, uh, it conducts, uh, it executes NMF topic modeling, uh, residual update, and a combination of anchor sampling and local weighting. And on a higher level, um, NMF topic modeling is done to identify or find a set of topics and residual update to identify unexplained parts, for example, the Egyptian cat that we saw. And the combination of anchor sampling and local weighting to uh, reveal unexplained parts and suppress uh, explained parts in general. Um, information. So looking at the uh, at each phase uh, in more detail, a non-negative matrix factorization for topic modeling is as follows. Uh, given a non-negative matrix uh, term document matrix X, uh, we factorize it into term topic matrix W and uh, topic document matrix H. And um, we use the, the columns as a set of, and these columns in uh, W matrix uh, becomes a set of topics. And in residual update, uh, we subtract the original matrix X uh, from its ma matrix approximation W times H uh, to get the residual values, which represent unexplained parts. Uh, 
uh, which its uh, matrix approximation fails to explain. And uh, anchor sampling, um, so using this uh, residual matrix, uh, we uh, derive probability distribution for uh, the column and row. And uh, from this probability, probability distributions, we sample uh, one particular column and one particular row, which correspond to uh, one particular document and keyword, uh, respectively. And uh, <coughs> using this uh, selected uh, document and keyword, uh, we compute cosine similarity uh, between uh, the selected column and other columns, <coughs> and, to, and also between the selected keyword row uh, with other uh, rows to get these uh, the diagonal matrices, dr and dc, and applying uh, dr diagonal matrices to a uh, residual matrix has the effect of uh, boosting up the selected document and selected keyword, which is what we are trying to do. Um, and we call this a localized residual matrix, uh, RL. And this uh, RL, uh, localized residual matrix, uh, is then um, inserted as an input to NMF topping modeling in the next stage. Now, um, we need to touch upon this issue because uh, the greedy approach uh, that, we, that we just uh, proposed uh, can be regarded as a, uh, a rank deflation procedure. Um, and rank deflation procedure um, is known to not work for NMF uh, due to the limitation that uh, uh, factor matrices for NMF cannot contain negative uh, values. Um, and as you can see here, uh, this is an experiment with the synthetic Gaussian, Gaussian mixture data. And you see that uh, in figure A, which is standard NMF, it, it successfully reveals the true uh, components of the, um, the, mix, uh, the synthetic data, whereas uh, our lens NMF, deflation-based NMF, uh, fails to identify one of the bases. But um, in the case of text data, where the dimension is high and the matrix is sparse, uh, we claim that um, deflation-based NMF can work as well as or even better than standard NMF. And uh, we have this uh, experiment to show that. Um, this uh, is another uh, synthetic data example, uh, which is uh, the dimension is higher and uh, its matrix is sparse. And the figure A is the, the, uh, the synthetic data, which uh, we're trying to uh, use C, whether standard NMF and deflation-based NMF can uh, approximate that. And as you can see, standard NMF uh, fails to uh, recover uh, the basis in figure A, except for the third component, which does well. And uh, compared to that, our deflation-based NMF uh, does much better than standard NMF, uh, recovering most of the basis in figure A. So um, the reason uh, why um, deflation-based NMF works surprisingly well for high-dimensional sparse data, uh, for example, the text data, uh, is because um, the, uh, the original dimensions, for example, the keywords in the text data, uh, with large values uh, are unlikely to overlap among different uh, column vectors in W. So uh, in this case, our uh, uh, deflation-based NMF is, can be suitable uh, by finding these dimensions in one vector at a time. So uh, combined with a local weighting uh, scheme that we propose, uh, our deflation-based NMF uh, helps to reveal highly non-redundant and diverse topics. And uh, I need to further add that uh, we integrate uh, fast rank two NMF uh, algorithm, which was proposed by uh, Kwong and Park. Um, it uh, reduces the uh, comp uh, computing time um, for NMF at rank two, and we uh, integrated that. So uh, at each stage, we fix um, the number of topics that we're uh, generating at two. So. Um, as you can see, the stage proceeds, but at each stage, we're uh, fixing the number of topics uh, per stage as two. And uh, in the evaluation section, I'll show how this has contributed to improving the, uh, the computing time and the computational complexity of our algorithm. Okay, so for evaluation, uh, we used uh, five data sets. Uh, Reuters 20 news groups, Enron, <coughs> uh, papers published in uh, visual, uh, IEEE visualization conferences, and Twitter. Uh, and the baseline methods were uh, standard NMF, sparse NMF, orthogonal NMF, and latent Dirichlet allocation, uh, is known as LDA. And <coughs> um, topic coherence uh, measures how frequently um, the keywords captured in topics 
appear in the text data. Um, and you see that on the far right is the lens NMF, and it performs consistently well. And you might say that um, LDA performed best on the case of 12 topics on Reuters data set. Um, but if you look closely, you, see, you will notice that there is no second best performing algorithm, which uh, means that in, in terms of consistency, lens NMF performs consistently well, whereas there are no other algorithms, algorithms that perform consistently well, like lens NMF. And another important aspect, uh, another important measure for uh, topic modeling is how well these topics represent uh, the, doc the document set and uh, the to total document coverage uh, shows that uh, Lens and MF uh, successfully represents uh, the document set, as you can see. And uh, because uh, Lens and MF iteratively adds a local uh, matrix to fit the original matrix X, uh, the topics, uh, as the stages proceeds, it becomes more and more diverse. And as you can see, uh, the number of topics from uh, proceeds from 10 topics, 50 topics, 100 topics, and the difference margin as the number of topics increases becomes greater. Um, so uh, it shows how lens and MF does well as, it, as the number of topics it generates uh, increases. And for computing time, uh, lens and MF is highlighted in green. Uh, it's at the bottom, and so it runs the fastest. And it's also the most scalable because, as I mentioned, uh, at each stage, um, the rank is fixed at two. So the computational complexity uh, remains as constant uh, regardless of uh, how many topics you generate in total. So um, it, it has the benefit of, or it, it's promising for large scale uh, topic modeling. And to check uh, whether uh, the algorithm uh, discovers local topics, uh, we used, uh, we experimented with a Twitter data set, which was generated in New York City in June 2013. Uh, we generated 100 topics with 10 keywords each, uh, so resulting in 1,000 keywords. But surprisingly, only Lens and MF extracted local specific keywords, such as uh, Hurricane Sandy Ireland. And uh, as you see, uh, other uh, algorithms, baseline methods, uh, if you look at the dominant keywords highlighted in uh, red box, it's very general. It's uh, it's not informative. But it's like LOL, wow, ha ha, and good night, and things of that nature that are not very really informative. Uh, so we uh, did a little bit of search, and so, so searching for uh, related web documents containing uh, the, with a the query uh, Hurricane Sandy Island led to the discovery of the local news that um, Ireland football team visited New York City in June 2013 to. <coughs> Boost the community hit by Hurricane Sandy in 2012. So this is uh, a great example where the you know, local topic discovery, in some cases, uh, can be useful in disclosing topics that might um, that otherwise would have gone unnoticed or undiscovered if other topic modeling algorithms were used. So as a future work, uh, we hope to extend this to interactive topic discovery system, uh, where users can uh, flexibly steer the local waiting process. Like for example, selecting you know anchor points. Like like so, um, specific document and keyword that they want to boost up, and and reveal. So that's the kind of work that uh, we're trying to do. So in conclusion, um, Lens and MF discovers local focused topics of interest to users, and compared to existing topic modeling algorithms, it generates topics of higher quality, higher document coverage, and faster speed. Thank you.